Hello everyone, today's video will be a beginning of a big end-to-end -end AI project. In this project we will be helping local farmer Jamil with producing tomatoes by determining which plant is healthy and which has a disease according to his tomatoes pictures. First we will quickly set up the project, collect the data from Kaggle, pre-process the data and store them with TensorFlow dataset. We will also do some data augmentation. Next, we will build our own convolution neural network with TensorFlow Keras. After that, we will create API using fast API for our code. And finally, deploy everything to locally hosted website. This website will enable us to drag and drop a picture of a tomato and the website will decide if the tomato is healthy or has a disease. Don't worry if you don't understand something, we will go simply step by step and you will learn a lot with this project. If you are interested, don't forget to hit the like button, smash subscribe so you won't miss the upcoming episodes. Let's do a quick setup. Every link related to the code will be in the bio. The first thing we will need to do is download this dataset. It will take some time. It depends on your connection. Maybe one minute or five. I will wait with you. Meantime, your dataset is downloading. You can create a folder somewhere in your computer for this project. I will create the folder here. Press enter and for example tomato AI project. Now we will open the folder and create another folder because we will structure the project in the right way. Here will be the folder name training. In this folder we will create a Jupyter notebook file for our neural network and also we will store the data set here. For Jupyter Notebook, you need to import one Python library. No, I don't know if it's library, but you have to install it by writing pip install notebook to your favorite terminal. It will also take some time, but I have already installed Jupyter Notebook to my computer. So, also wait a few minutes. Here, you need to copy the path of your training folder, change the directory in your terminal. I have uh, mixed Linux with Windows terminal, so maybe this CD change directory won't work for you, so you can Google it. But as I know, this uh, CD change directory and the path of your folder should also work on Windows. Now, if you are, we are in that folder, we could write Jupyter Notebook and press Enter. It will create an instance of our Jupyter Notebook file uh, locally here. It's a new version of Jupyter Notebook. You, you press New and Notebook. Uh, select your kernel and here we will write all the data pre-processing and creating and training the neural network. In this tutorial I will only change the name of our Jupyter Notebook to tomato model for example and press rename. Now if you open the folder, the training one, you can see there are checkpoints from this Jupyter Notebook file and your Jupyter Notebook and you will access this Jupyter Notebook same as we created it with the terminal later on. Now open new file explorer. In your downloads, uh, find where is your dataset from Kaggle. Put it here into your training folder. Then press extract all to your only to your training folder, press enter, 
now it also will take some time so take a quick nap the planned village data set with the images is ready now you can delete this delete it uh, and open the planned villages and from this folder you need only the tomatoes subfolders so just highlight these ones and press delete okay now we have all the tomatoes this one is healthy and this is all the diseases we will recognize with the website for now just quick recap in this tutorial we created only the tomato ai project folder in this we created the training folder the we installed the jupyter notebook and downloaded the data set that's all for today's episode in future episodes there will be more to do more fun stuff more exciting stuff new stuff you will learn a lot so if you like this video hit subscribe smash like button share with your friends and have amazing rest of your day peace